back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to put together three easy Mother's Day gift ideas here we go if you've been a subscriber for a while, then you know that I love making edible arrangements for Mother's Day. And um, some of the projects you are going to see today were inspired by pictures I saw on Pinterest, except that I did not, I repeat, <laughs> I did not bake the cupcakes. I am not a baker, guys, not at all. Unless your definition of a baker is reading instructions on a box and making it. That's the kind of baker I am. <laughs> so um, yeah, plus I feel like why bake when you can go to your local grocery store where you have professional bakers because those ladies back there, by the way, are professional bakers and they can make it for you for very, very cheap. And how cute are these cards, guys? So, so cute. You guys are probably wondering, why is she showing me cards? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you these because I don't know about you guys, but in the past, I have spent up to $6.50 on cards. And that is just way ridiculous. Dollar Tree really does have a good selection of cards and gift bags for any holiday or for any birthday. And um, this is not a promotion. Dollar Tree don't need any promoting. Trust me. <laughs> Every other creator makes a Dollar Tree video so they don't need promoting I just wanted to save you a couple of dollars because they really do have a great selection so yeah guys save yourself a dollar or two or three or four or actually five <laughs> all right guys let's get started weren't homemade they were baked in the standard baking paper so I'm going to be adding uh, gold baking cups to make them look a little more fancy so this is very easy this is the easiest project out of the three now it's time to decorate and I'm going to be using strawberries and icing decorations. For the strawberries, I make sure that I got the smallest one in the badge. And for the icing decorations, I'm going to be using two types of roses, red roses, and they are the closed roses and the open roses. So all I have to do is just grab a toothpick and then I'm going to place it right down the middle of my uh, white one and I'm going to start with these strawberries and I'm just going to place the strawberry right on there look at that so easy so pretty <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and place it inside the containers and you're just going to open it <laughs> and then you're just going to place it inside. To make these cupcake holders even more adorable, I am going to add <laughs> a red ribbon to the lid. I cut a pretty long piece of ribbon and I'm going to be adding hot glue to the back, just a dab. And then you are going to make sure that your ribbon is going to be glued here down the middle. Okay, so here's the middle. And then you are going to place it here. And then you are going to bring it around. And you are going to place a little more hot glue up front directly across in the front and then you are going to tie and here's how it looks like with pink and white ribbon I wanted you to see it in case you may want to change the ribbon and this gift is meant to be given now individually. I believe that it's great for a teacher, a neighbor, and of course, mom and grandma. It's also a great gift to make with your kids. For this 
project, I'm going to be making a kickstand out of this clay pot and this clay saucer. So it's going to go as so, okay? And then I'm going to be making these cupcake holders. But before I do that, I am going to be painting them with acrylic. <laughs> I'm going to be painting them with acrylic white paint. And by the way, since you are going to be placing food inside of the clay pots, make sure to wash these before you paint. Um, I already rinsed them out with uh, water and soap. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint. To get this rustic whitewash look, all you have to do is only add a little bit of white paint, okay? Just a little bit. You don't wanna put too much because it takes away from the look. And this is going to kind of dry pretty much instantly. So you're really not gonna have too much time to uh, wipe it down with paper towel as you would do if you were using regular paint. This is acrylic paint, so it, it really dries quickly on the clay. And it should look something like this. Next, I'm going to add E6000 to bond my saucer and my pot together. Now I'm going to crush a few Oreo cookies inside my Ziploc bag, and I'm going to place the crumbs on top of the cupcakes, which is going to make it look like dirt, but pretty dirt, not like it looks like dirt. You get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to open these and I'm going to take the icing off. All right, so I'm just going to place it right on top. Now I'm going to grab my decorative moss. This is from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to place it right on top of here. I'm also going to be adding moss to the inside of my clay pot as padding because as you can see, the cupcakes are very, very small and I need something that's going to keep them up, okay? So you're basically going to fill them about three quarters of the way, okay? And now, I'm going to place the cupcakes right inside. Next, I'm going to add these street toppers that I got from Michaels. They are very cute. They are roses and they are pink. And I'm just gonna place it on top. Almost forgot, this goes right in the middle. There you go. Love it. I'm going to write something right on here a little later. Lastly, I'm going to add this 5 8 inch pink ribbon from Dollar Tree right around here to finish it up. This gives screams grandma, but it will be great for any mom. by painting my vase in white and I'm going to be painting it in the inside not the outside next I'm going to be using a six inch foam ball that I'm going to be gluing on top of my vase and I'm going to be gluing it with E6000 
and here it is after 24 hours it is pretty strong it's not gonna go anywhere I did saw on Pinterest that they make it differently they place a black foam inside then they place a couple of skewers and then they place the foam ball right on top I didn't do that because this is very narrow on top and I didn't think it will um, be strong enough to hold all those cupcakes. I like it this way, but you can do it either way. Totally your choice. Look at that. So, so nice. This is from my local grocery store and they charge 99 cents per rose. How cheap is that? So that was $12. I did have to pay for the actual cupcakes. The design was 99 cents. So per uh, half a dozen was $4. So the whole thing was 20 bucks. Totally worth it. Totally. Because I can't do any of that. Mm -mm. Not at all. I'm going to be using two picks to place my cupcakes on the foam ball. And I'm going to start from top to bottom. I know that most people do bottom to top, but that's mostly because they don't have any icing on them and it gets heavy after a while and I don't want it to tilt and uh, fall. <laughs> so I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to start with a dark one. Place them facing up. Place this one right on the top. For the next one, they're going to be facing up, not forward. I'm going to place the rest of the cupcakes in between cupcakes, okay? I'm going to start right here, facing up. If you feel like you gotta add more toothpicks to secure it more, go ahead and do that. I'm going to poke it through the cake over the paper and I'm going to stick it right there because this one is a little lower and I do not want it to fall. And here's what it looks like so far. I ended up using two dozens of roses because the six inch is pretty big. <laughs> so if you wanna use just one, um, just you know, make sure you get a smaller foam ball. And as you can see, some of the cupcakes are different uh, because my second batch, when I order it, um, I did not specify to put the leaves on it. So make sure to be specific about that. All right, so, so far so good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my baby's breath. So I pretty much cover all of the areas where you could see the foam with baby's breath. I could actually do this all day, like I'm looking at an area right here that I could play some more. <laughs> I've been doing this for like 15 minutes, really. So serious. To finish up the look, I'm going to place this ribbon around my vase. All right guys, so here it is. This is a beautiful, beautiful edible gift. I love it. This is definitely high end compared to the other two gifts. This is pretty much for the person who wants to impress mom on her special day. And um, I do have to tell you some things because <laughs> I want to be honest here. The whole time I was making this gift, I was on edge because I was afraid that some of the roses were going to fall. So here's what I did. For the roses on top, those are pretty okay. I mean, there's no need to worry about those. For the ones at the bottom, I ended up placing toothpicks in the middle of the roses so they wouldn't fall because that did happen. And I also have my uh, air conditioner blasting. It is really cold in here. 
So make sure that when you're making this arrangement, your house is nice and cool. Also, I don't suggest this arrangement to be transport. I feel like this arrangement should be made at the place that it's going to be gifted at. Uh, for example, uh, you can make this um, arrangement while mom is at work or while mom is away, or if you are going to invite mom for dinner or as such, because transporting this is a no-no. It will be on your lap or all over your car. So, but it is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm kidding. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe right now. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my Mother's Day gifts. And leave me a comment anyway because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Make sure to share this video with your friends and family members because everyone has a mother and you might be able to save them a book or two. Alright guys, until next time. Bye.